such a time as this. And welcome back to Such a Time as This. I am your host, Pastor James Pittman. Oh, is this a story that delighted my heart? Kamala Harris is, has announced her candidacy for the President of the United States of America on the Democratic side, and she, she uh, shall we say, made the mistake of going on radio and a local New York radio uh, station and went on there and bragged. Bragged about smoking weed, and she said she inhaled, and the wrong person heard it. Her father. They say you oppose legalizing weed. That's not true. I know. <laughs> and, and, and look, I joke about it, half joking. Half my family's from Jamaica. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I, and I inhaled. I did, inhale. I did, I did inhale. inhale. <laughs> uh, it's really hysterical uh, for, for uh, the former attorney general of that state to uh, talk about doing something illegal, laughing about it, giggling about it, and trying to get some traction for it. Among the people that were upset by it, her dad. Donald Harris from Jamaica, an economics professor at Stanford University, says this. My dear departed grandmothers, as well as my deceased parents, must be turning in their grave right now to see their family's name, reputation, and proud Jam Jamaican identity being connected in any way, jokingly or not, with the fraudulent stereotype of pot smoking, joy seeking, and in pursuit of identity politics. Yeah. Man, yeah. Wow, that, what a blast at his daughter who <laughs> wants to be the next president. No kidding. He added. Um, and he had sent this uh, statement to Jamaica Global Online. He said, speaking for myself and my immediate Jamaican family, we, we wish to categorically disassociate ourselves from this travesty. The campaign had no comment as of yesterday. I don't care if you running for president of the United States of America. <laughs> Mr. Harris says, I don't care if you were a sitting senator from the state of California. You still my daughter. You not gonna gonna embarrass me by going out there and talking about you smoke weed and laughing and joking about it. Oh, I'm a fan of Mr. Harris. You my daughter. I don't. And, and she should be around if she graduated college about '86. That should put her right around 55 or so, 55, 56. He said, I don't care if you 55 or 56. You my daughter, and you ain't gonna embarrass me. I don't care how old you get. Woo. Now, that's a father right there. That's a man right there. See, I don't care how old you are. You my daughter. You will represent me. I didn't raise you like that. And he came out and blasted his own daughter, who's running for president. That's a man. That's a man. That's a man. That's a man. And I'm a fan. I'm, a, I'm not a fan of Camilla Harris's policies. But I'm a fan of Mr. Harris. I don't even know what his... His policies are, but I'm a fan of him. You're not going to embarrass me like that. Come out there. And, and, and so funny, the campaign had no no comment. What's she going to say? What's, what's, what's she, what's she going to say? Mm, that's the father. What you going to say? But could you imagine what the world would be like, if our, what our country would be like, if fathers stepped in when their children Cut a fool, act a fool, and embarrass them to put put her on blast like that and say, you my daughter, how dare you? Your family's embarrassed by your behavior going on television and laughing about smoking weed. How dare you? I like Mr. Harris now. I don't know what his, what his politics are. I don't know where he is, but I like him. I like him. I like him. I like him. Such a time as this.